The Doldrums and the Helmsley Curse by Nicholas Gannon. This is the standalone sequel to the very first Doldrums book, which I just reviewed, and I'll leave a link down below if you want to see that review. Now, when I say standalone sequel, that means that you don't have to read the first book in order to read this one. However, I would still recommend reading the first book, if not just to see the author's progression as a writer. There also is quite a few mentions from the first book in this one, and Nicholas Gannon also does all of the illustrations in these books, so if you get the hardcovers, then you will get some full page, full color artwork, as well as some smaller ones that are in black and white, and I have to say, they are just so beautiful, as well as this cover. The book cover just feels very Christmassy, and the book actually takes place in the winter, during Christmas and everything, so I'm really glad I decided to read this in the winter. As far as the story and pretty much everything, this book is a huge step up from the first book, and that's saying something, because I enjoyed the first book. Let's start off by talking about the story. So after Archer arrives from boarding at Ravenwood Academy, he is finally able to meet his grandparents, the famous explorers that went missing on an iceberg in the previous book, um, and he is ecstatic. However, the rest of the city is not so excited. They're actually pretty suspicious because the society is trying to claim that the Helmsleys uh, never went on this iceberg, that it was all just a big hoax to get attention. There's also a huge snowstorm on the way, and the city is intent on blaming the Helmsleys by coining it as the Helmsley Curse. So Archer, Adelaide, and Oliver, as well as their new neighbor, Kenna, set out on an adventure to try and save his grandparents' reputation, as well as expose what truly happened in Antarctica. The book follows the same trio from last time, as well as the new neighbor that I mentioned named Kenna, who cannot keep her eyes off of Oliver. And then there's also uh, Benjamin, which was Archer's roommate at Ravenwood Academy. And Benjamin's father happens to be a very, very prominent figure in the society. And these two new characters, as well as the multiple new side characters, really create some fantastic interaction and crafty dialogue that just continues the charm and humorous feeling that the previous book had, but even expands it more. The Doldrums and the Helmsley Curse has all the charisma that the first book had, but it implements a greater pacing, greater intrigue, and greater mystery, not to mention just adventure, and I find it a lot more fun than the first book was. We finally get to see Archer's grandparents, as well as the society that was only merely mentioned of in the first book. And let me tell you, it's building up for a promising third book. It's evident that Gannon's writing is much stronger in this book, and his illustrations, I mean, they never fail to warm your heart, even in the dead of winter. Thank you guys for watching this review, I hope you liked it, and I will leave a link down below where you can buy a copy of this book for yourself if you would like to. Also, feel free to tell me if you've already read the book down in the comments below, and if you like this video, feel free to like it. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I will see you in a new video, which will be pretty soon.